Seven jurors are now seated for Julissa Thaler's trial. She was charged with first degree murder in the death of her young son. Individual jury questioning getting underway today as a statewide organization shining a light on the issue of domestic homicide and relationship abuse across Minnesota. Fox 9's Paul Bloom live at the Hennepin County Government Center. Paul, authorities have said that a custody dispute was at the heart of the death of this little boy. Amy and Kelsey, violence free that has a mission to end domestic homicide by sharing the tragic stories and providing the community with resources. In the case of the murder of little Eli Hart, Julissa Th Thaler, uh, his mother, is on trial, first degree murder. She said in court on Monday she never would have done this. Ultimately, the jury will get the final say. In a first degree murder case with the defendant, Julissa Thaler, facing life in prison, the jury questioning is done individually. One by one, prospective jurors walked into the courtroom, questioned by both sides. By day's end, the court had seated seven jurors who will ultimately decide Thaler's fate. The 28-year-old charged with killing her young son, Eli Hart, shooting him up to nine times. Law enforcement discovering his lifeless body and a shotgun in Thaler's trunk during a traffic stop near Lake Minnetonka last May. Prosecutors contend the murder was premeditated, pointing to Thaler's history of Google searches, looking up such terms as how much blood can a child lose, and allegedly exploring life insurance policies for Eli before his death. At the time he was killed, Thaler and the boy's father were involved in a court custody fight the state will be allowed to introduce broadly. The judge doesn't want the specific details coming into the criminal trial. Several paternal side family members were in court Monday. They left the courthouse without commenting. Listen to your loved ones who are experiencing violence. Be the person they trust and feel safe around. Let them know that you're here for them. Meantime, on Tuesday, a statewide organization known as Violence Free Minnesota highlighted its work to end domestic homicide stemming from some form of relationship abuse in Minnesota. Nearly two dozen murder victims from 2022 singled out at this Capitol News conference. At this point, the murder of Eli Hart does not meet the group's criteria, though organizers and surviving family members spoke out about jealousy, anger, and what might drive a person to kill someone so close. They don't say it out loud, but you can see it in their faces. You can't change evil. They were wired that way. And I just want to show you here how the group defines domestic murder of a child for its purposes. Quote, those who are killed by a parent's current or former intimate partner where the perpetrator acts out of abuse against the other parent. We'll see if ultimately Eli Hart's murder is classified as an act of domestic homicide at the end of this trial. In the meantime, jury selection for Julissa Thaler's first degree murder trial resumes here tomorrow afternoon, live in the government center. Paul Bloom, Fox 9. All right, thank you, Paul.